All right, I just want to shoot a video on this uh, 60 horsepower Mercury four stroke, uh, the fuel system, and some details about it because there's not a good video that I found on YouTube so far. But so this is your fuel tank, this is a drain back valve or ADV valve, uh, and that's your primer bulb. Um, this is an EPA device uh, so that way uh, vapors don't escape uh, the the gas tank. Um, so this goes to the back side of the engine here. This silver hose here, and we follow it up, it connects into here, and then this uh, fuel line inside the case of the engine comes down down here real low, and then up here to uh, a fuel filter, uh, and then the output of this goes into a low pressure lift pump. Um, and it also has a water block. So this is the input of the fuel. This is the output that goes to the VST tank. Uh, this is uh, w cooling water input into the low pressure fuel pump in the output. And then that, that water ejects here. So moving back to the fuel side, uh, this is the output of the low pressure fuel pump, follows it here. And this is the VST tank. This houses a fuel pressure regulator and a high pressure fuel pump. Uh, there's a filter inside of here. Uh, there's also a filter on the pressure regulator side. Um, so there's a couple places to clean in here if you're having fuel pr pressure issues. Down here, this plug right here, if you open this up, this is a drain so you can drain the entire tank of fuel when you're trying to take this out. Uh, so low pressure fuel comes in here uh, about 2 psi um, <clears throat> and comes in there's a little float in here just like a carburetor um, this connection on the back side right here is just to allow air to escape and this goes down and out um, so the, the fuel comes in here there's a fuel pressure uh, fuel pump in here with a screen uh, this is a tap to read fuel pressure this is the outlet of the uh, high pressure fuel pump so that comes this is a water cooling block uh, uh, these two ports are connected these are the fuel uh, the two ports on the bottom of this block are uh, water in and water out uh, this port here goes up and feeds the pressure regulator so after this uh, in this tank when you remove the fuel pressure regulator there's a little screen in there um, then high pressure fuel comes uh, regulated high pressure fuel comes connects into here comes down along this plastic uh, hose there's a fuel filter inside this um, wrap here and then this comes and goes around up here to your fuel injectors. There's not good information about how to test this low pressure fuel pump, but I've come across it and wanted to share it with you guys. So the first thing that you wanna do is a vacuum test, which means that on the suction side of this low pressure fuel pump, you want to tee in um, a, a pressure gauge, vacuum gauge. So um, at 1,000 RPM, so with the engine running, this should be reading uh, one to two inches of mercury. Um, then what they say to do is to take a pair of pliers and pinch the the line that goes out to the tank which is up here to this fuel filter um, I would pinch my own line I wouldn't pinch this line but um, so I would tee in after this and run a little piece of hose here and then connect into there and then pinch off my hose so that I'm not damaging my hose um, when you pinch it off you should see it uh, read four inches of mercury at 1000 rpm so and then if you come over here so that's the suction side if you have a, a restriction on the suction side 
um, that'll be uh, your ADV valve. So uh, causing a restriction, or there could be this valve right here, down here, could be causing restriction, or there could be something in the fuel line, there could be something in the screen, the pickup screen. But uh, that would be if your, if your um, suction test passes, your vacuum test passes. So then on the output side, which I have set up here, um, the pressure output at 1000 RPM, you should read uh, exceed 2 PSI of fuel pressure. But if you have a restriction on the suction side, um, this pump can be good, but it would not be able to put out the 2 PSI. That's why you need to check the suction side first to make sure there's no restrictions there. Um, at So then uh, with it running, you should be at 2 PSI or greater on the gauge. And then uh, you pinch this while it's uh, running uh, to block off the fuel flow. And then this should exceed uh, 4 PSI. <clears throat> Uh, so that's how you test the low pressure side the, uh, of this fuel system. The high pressure side of this fuel system, here's your tap right here. And when it's uh, running, um, you should be seeing over 40 PSI on the gauge, like 42, 44 PSI. <clears throat> if you, if it, when you're running and it shoots up to 40, and then if you shut it off and then it, you dr lose all your pressure right away, it's most likely your fuel pressure regulators letting all the, the pressure bypass. But <clears throat> that's just a quick overview of this system and how it works and some ways to test it that I wasn't able to find easily. I uh, hope that helps.